Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GA 2020 Mathematics. Today we will discuss about the two questions that is the 52 and the 53 related to this linear algebra. That's a very simple task are there. So let's see how we can solve that. Myself, Dr. Gurd, you can simply follow this link for finding the various previous year videos on this gate and the IIT's jam. So this question number 52 and the 53 is of the two marks each. So you can see you can easily get a four marks without doing, doing any much efforts are there. So if you look about these two questions carefully, the one thing which is common to you that it's a polynomial of certain degree. It's a either as a two or three, again, it's a polynomial of degree two. And you can see this is related to this linear algebra or linear transformations are. So that's a very simple are there. We will see how you can solve them. This, this such kind of the questions within a one minute. So you can get a uh, four marks uh, without any hesitation. Also, I would like to say that such kind of the question is usually asked in the gate examination. If you scroll down your previous year papers, you will always find such kind of the questions like of the polynomial of degree two of three and many more are there. It's easily mannered. So let's start with this one, how you can solve them. First thing is that how, what, what do you want to find the sum of the eigen's value? So do you know that how you, what is the meaning of the sum of the eigen's value is nothing but the trace of the matrix. It means your target is to firstly find the matrix as of this. Once you will find the matrix, then you can simply add the diagonal entries. That is nothing but my trace of this matrix is sum of the items. Now, how you can find this matrix? That's a very simple. Whenever there is a polynomial of certain degree, in this case, this is of the two, then you can consider as a two as a basis is one X and X square. Because all of you know that in general, this is a, b and c, x square. So the a, 1, x and x square. Now, first thing is when you consider p of x is my 1. So substitute this value in here. What will happen? p of 0 is nothing but 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Plus 0 plus 1 is again 1x. Plus 0 is again 1 is a 1x square. Now, second one is when you consider as a p of x is my x. You can substitute the value here p of 0 0 p of 1 is minus 1 plus p of 0 0 plus p of 1 is 1 x plus p of 0 is 0 is a 0 x square when you consider third case that is a p of x is my x square then what is the value of this p of 0 is 0 again it's a minus 1 plus p of 0 is 0 plus p of 1 is 1 x plus is my 0 x square now corresponding to this, you can define the matrix as a T. So what is that? This again, nothing. This is 0, 1 and 1. This is here. The first value minus 1, 1, 0. Third value is minus 1, 1 and 1. Now this is a matrix here. So what are the sum of the eigen's value? Nothing but the trace of this matrix. So what is the trace of this matrix? This is my 1 is the right answer. So that's a simple way you can solve them. Always remember whenever there is a polynomial you have to consider here. Look about the next question are there. Again you can see this is question number 53 again of the two marks. The common thing is again of the polynomial of degree. Whether it's an integration, whether it's a linear transformation that is nothing matter. You, ha you have to consider this polynomial of degree 2 as of like here. You can scroll down the previous paper. You will find such kind of the questions in a very simple manner. How you can solve them? Now, again, we will start with the first one. When f of x is 1, you can substitute here. This is x. Integration of the x is x square by 2. When you take as a limit from the 0 to 2, the answer will be by 2. This is alpha plus beta plus gamma. Second case is when you consider f of x is my x. What is the value of this? x into x is x square. So x cubed by 3 from 0 to 2. So the limit is here. f of 0 is 0. So that, that's a 0. f of 1 is 1 plus f of 2 is my 2. Third case is when f of x is my x square. So what is the value of this? When, when you consider as x square. So this is my x cube. So x cube integration is my x4 by 4 from 0 to 2. So when you substitute here, it is 16 by 4. That is nothing but my 4. So 0 is again 0, 1 is again beta, and 2 will be my 4 of gamma. Now your target is to find the value of alpha, gamma, and beta. It means these two equations are more than enough. 
now you can solve them i can subtract them what is that this is 8 by 3 here this is minus of 2 gamma so once you will solve this is 12 what is that this is nothing but my 8 minus here so what is that this gamma is my 2 by 3 so once gamma is my 2 by 3 you can substitute here so what is that beta is nothing but my 8 by 3 minus of 4 by 3 so beta will be my 4 by 3 so what is the right answer of this you can substitute here this is 8 by 3 minus of 2 by 3 so you can get that 6 by 3 is the right answer so you can see both the questions have been solved with the same technique that is of this so remember my useful tips for you whenever there is a polynomial of degree like this way you have to consider always here if there is a polynomial of degree 3 then you have to consider as 1x x square and x cube and do like similar way. so this is the way you can solve this question number 30 to 52 of the two marks each this is the question number 53 of the two marks each you can get a uh, four marks without any doing much efforts and get the correct answers in your coming gate examination i hope you can enjoy this questions are too uh, we will see more questions of the gate mathematics in our next class till then you can simply follow this link share this video please your friends best of luck students happy learning